Hello, Libra. I'm going to do a weekend forecast reading for you, okay? The strongest energies that you will be dealing with this coming weekend. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to be entered to win a personal reading, I give away one every week for free. You're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below. Hashtag weekend. All right. Y'all get the weekend off. Now I got to go to work. All right. Also, I do have a deal going on right now with personals. Check that out in the description box below. This is a general reading. It cannot and will not resonate for everyone. Check your other placements. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers welcome. Rolls can be reversed. Y'all know what's up, right? Y'all know what's up. All right, what's going on for Libra? What's coming in this weekend for Libra? Bottom of the deck, we've got the six of wands. Success, victory. All right, coming into the current situation, the current energy, we've got the fool, beginnings. Naked booty there. <laughs> the challenge is the two of pentacles. It says change right on the card. These cards are a little bit different. Change can be an obstacle, right? The foundation of the read. Why is it all going down? Well, here you are, Libra. Justice. Okay. The recent past, we have the Three of Wands. Vision. That's what it says right there on the card. Uh, the crowning energy, we have the Four of Swords. Rest, recovery. Okay. Coming into the, or coming into the near future. Sorry, the Seven of Wands. It says Valor on the card. All right, how you see yourself right now, Libra? We have the Ace of Swords, clarity, the aha moment, an epiphany, right? Energy external to you that you may or may not be aware of, the Ace of Wands, energy, passion, a spark. All right, advice from the universe, the Eight of Wands. All right, movement, forward movement, and the potential outcome, we have the King of Cups. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. We've got Libra. We've got all four suits present and accounted for. Okay, let's unpack this. Let's see what's going on with that six of wands, that success on the bottom of the deck. All right. Well, we're starting out with card number zero, the fool, new beginnings. What is this uh, fool energy for Libra? What's going on? We've got the, I have my cards held, holding my cards upside down. We've got the seven of pentacles. It's like you're preparing for the future. You're taking stock. You're, you know, taking assessment of getting ready to, you know, there's a big change coming and you're preparing for it. What is this seven of pentacles and the fool? What's going on here? Again, the fool, you, there's something coming and you're getting ready for it. You're preparing. The challenge is this two of pentacles and it says change right on there. Okay. So what is this change? I mean, change can be an obstacle. Okay. What is this two of pentacles for Libra? What's up going on? The six of cups. What's this six of cups, two of pentacles? The devil, Capricorn energy, Libra, you are your person. Take it as it resonates. You have a decision to make. You can. You're weighing your options, right? Are you going to go to someone from the past or are you going to stay in this karmic connection? The universe is giving you an opportunity to get off of the ride, right? Off of the karmic merry-go-round. Karmic relationships are meant to teach us lessons. We are not meant to stay there forever, okay? You've learned all you can learn in a situation. It's time to move forward. The universe is opening up and giving you an opportunity to make a clean break. Are you going to take it? Okay. Interesting. So the foundation of the reading, we've got this justice card, right? Could certainly be a divorce, but you know, the justice card a lot of times is about the paperwork, those contractual obligations. It's also fairness, balancing those scales, right? Getting out of a situation fairly, doing it correctly, possible divorce, or at least, you know, dissolving contracts, but doing things fairly, doing them correctly. The tower. Yeah. There's going to be a tower moment. The universe is coming in, knocking everything off the table to make room for the new. Okay. Give me one more for justice and the tower. This decision is being made for you. So th there's no doubt here. 
that, she, you know, that you're going to want to get out of this situation, you can stay. But I feel like if you do, it's going to be real miserable. Yeah, the chariot. There you go. Moving on. Clean break. Okay. The recent past, we've got this three of wands, right? It's like you've been waiting for this, this, this opportunity. Um, this, this, I can't even say what I want to say. Waiting for an opening. Okay. Waiting for your chance to come. And you've been in this energy for a while if it's in your past. Okay. The emperor. Yeah. You're leveled up. You don't need this karmic relationship anymore to teach you anything. You've ascended. What is this emperor and this three of wands? What's going on here? The two of cups. You've got somebody from your past that you truly love, truly want to be with, and you're headed there. Four of swords, rest, recovery, healing. What is this four of swords in the crowning energy for my Libras? What's going on? Page of swords. You may have been watching this person for a while or this person watching you, but um, it's like in your downtime, you've just been going over it in your mind, but you are watching them. Social media, driving past their house, whatever it is, you're watching. And the five of swords, getting ready to detach, planning. That page of swords can be someone who studies, right? Learns about their environment, taking in all of this, this, um, their environment, learning, just really studying things because you're preparing to detach and it, you may have a fight on your hands with this five of swords. It's not the way you want it to go. And this is you or your person, take it as it resonates. So seven of wands in the near future. And it says valor on this card, but you know, it can also be feeling defensive, feeling um, backed into a corner. What is this seven of wands for my Libras? What is going on here? Temperance. So you do, you may have a fight on your hands. You're going to stand your ground. You're going to make a break. You know, you're going to exit a situation. Um, and the universe with this temperance card, yes, it can be a card of reconciliation. It can also be universal alchemy. The universe is tempering this energy, providing you with an opportunity to make change um, and, and bringing, you know, your dreams and your hopes to fruition, right? Working their magic behind the scenes to bring you what you truly want. King of Pentacles. So Libra, this could be you, could be your person, but whoever this is, um, is very, you know, financially successful, very stable, good with money. They don't typically make really big changes like this. You know, the King of Pentacles will stand his ground though, right? And if something's not right, he'll, you know, it may take him a minute, but he's gonna, he's gonna get it handled. All right. Ace of Swords, Libra, how you see yourself right now? Breaking free from something, cutting the ties that bind, right? Queen of Cups. You could have water in your charts, or you could just really be in your feels about this person from the past. They could be a water sign. And you're having this like aha moment, right? The Seven of Cups. You, you know, you've got decisions to make. You've got things to think about. Wanting to do this the right way. It's almost like this maze. It's like, you know, your person is, is, is up here, right? And you've got to go through all these things to get there. All right. So energy external to you that you may or may not be aware of. We have this ace of wands, right? That passion, that energy, that new beginning. Fire energy, right? And the nine of pentacles. I think this person feels the same way about you. I think they, I think they have a lot of, of passion for you. There's a lot of chemistry here. And, and this is a single person, male, female, doesn't matter. Yeah, Ace of Wands, again, this person wants to be with you. Okay, Eight of Wands, there you go. That's the advice from the universe. Get it going. Get a move on. Get a move on, Libra. 
The Five of Cups. Literally, if you don't, you'll be sorry. That's just what I'm getting. If you don't go now and do something about this, you're going to be sorry. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you'll get stuck in this again. You'll be kind of stuck in this, in this energy and you don't want to be. Okay, so the potential outcome is this King of Cups and we have the Queen of Cups down here. So, you know, we've got, we've got counterparts. So this King of Cups, what is this King of Cups in the outcome for Libra? Man. You're matching each other's energy and you're going to get your wish. And it's, it's like, you know, destiny, like, you know, universal alignment with that star energy, Aquarius energy, it doesn't have to be. And the Eight of Cups. You are leaving a situation to make your dreams come true and they're going to. I'm just saying. Making a choice, decisions, right? But here we have on the bottom of this deck, here we have that success, that victory, right? And here we have the hermit. You know, the hermit in the traditional tarot, there is a star in that lantern, right? Destiny is giving you this opportunity to move forward and win right? The chariot is that victorious battle wagon, success. And with this star, you cannot even go wrong. You can't go wrong, Libra. You are your person. Take it as it resonates. Wow. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hashtag weekend in the comments below. Check out the description box for personal reading information. I am having a deal right now. In the meantime, I'm sending you tons of love and light. Until next time.